Hey guys, what's up? In this video is quick introduction to user-defined functions in Excel. As you know, there are a lot of different functions in Excel and variety of functions, but you may want to create your own function or Uncle Bill may have forgotten to include one for you. One of the basic functions that is not there in Excel is the range function. The range is what is the, the range of a certain number of values? And here we are seeing these numbers and what is the, the range of this? And the largest minus the, the smallest, right? Maximum minus the minimum. And you would be able to find this range by looking at the maximum of those numbers and subtract the minimum of those numbers, which is 24 minus three right that is going to give you the value which is 21 but what if you do not want to just use this and just want to kind of be able to do range and just select these numbers and get your 21 by doing that or if you want to create some more complicated functions and then you would have to use the the visual basic for application or vba coding and create very small macros you're using and create your functions by doing that. And uh, we're going to be just doing first the, that range function and after that we'll just create another uh, user defined function for employee bonuses. And that is going to set our way for uh, the, uh, the operations management uh, video that I'm going to have on project management simulation and we'll create our own user-defined functions there okay so let's just start creating our range function to do this we'll have to just go to alt and f11 is going to uh, if you have a laptop maybe it's going to be function alt and f11 if you have a macbook god bless you just find it in google and uh, then we'll just insert a module if i don't want to do that Another way of doing that is using the developer tab, but to do that, I'll have to activate that tab. You may not have it in your Excel activated, so we'll have to go to file and then options from there, the customize ribbon and check the developer tab and click OK. Once you have that, you can click on the visual basic and then you'll get this menu. You'll insert a module and here we're going to enter our function. So my function is going to be called what? Let's just call it as my range, okay? So I'm going to just find a value of the range of a certain number of numbers, values. And my range is gonna take some values. I don't wanna just select one cell, another cell, another cell. I wanna select an array of numbers. It could be like a matrix, matrix. it could be a certain number of values. And coincidentally, that also is called a range, but this is a range of numbers. It's not the range like maximum minus minimum. So to do that, I'm just going to call that as, let's say, function my range is going to have, let's just give a number for that. And uh, I'm just going to call this values, okay? And as range. And I'm just typing that as range when I do that, Excel is going to look for not just a single cell, but a, a certain number of cells altogether. So then I'm just going to press enter and function and end function turn into blue. So I'll have to, it's looking for some, uh, some process, some uh, maybe calculations, some uh, equalities in there. So in that case, what I want is I'm going to just say that my range is going to be equal to maximum of these values, okay? And minus the minimum of these values. So the values are going to be a set of numbers and then the maximum of those numbers and minus the minimum of those numbers. It looks good, but there's one issue here that the max and mean are not defined. Again, another problem with Uncle Bill, and they're not defined as visual basic application functions. They are in Excel, but they are not in this environment. So what we have to do is we'll have to just say that, tell that these are the worksheet functions. And there is a code there, just put the worksheet function.max 
and then we'll do the same thing for worksheet function and then min right so this is there are a lot of different all these worksheet functions you can use in visual basic environment uh that's a vba environment so we are done what we have to do now is we we'll close it then instead of doing range by that i have now a range my range function okay so my range function takes values and if i don't know what values that it takes it doesn't really show you the, that hint as kind of uh, an information provided but if you click on this fx it just uses that values information there and it's looking for a set of numbers so then i'm going to highlight this range and then that's it and i am able to create a function and that's called a user defined function udf and that's my range so let's just make this more complicated i, I want to create another function and that's going to be a function that's called bonus and what i want is i can just use some if statements here and it doesn't really need the uh, function but let's say i want to create my bonus function and just tell my employees to use this bonus function whenever needed and i can hide that information and to the calculation the calculation process need not to be known by the uh the other employees so how would i do that my bonus scheme says if the rep sells uh, more than 100 units <clears throat> then the they get three percent bonus to their base salary and if they sell more than 150 units then they'll get five percent bonus to their base salary but in addition to that if they also make more than 150 25 thousand dollars in sales so these are the number the quantity sales and these are the sales in in dollar values then they get additional two thousand dollar bonus so it's three percent plus two thousand or just three percent or just five percent or five percent plus two thousand or nothing unfortunately that could also happen so what i'll do then is i'm going to just go to my uh, visual basic environment again and now i'm going to enter my other function so this function is going to be called not my range but this is going to be called bonus and this is going to not take set of values as range this is going to take three values and these values are the salary number sold and sales and let's just enter them uh, here uh, salary and number sold number sold and uh, sales okay if you want what you could do is uh, you can just define them as um, as numbers so salary as double number sold as double define them as the numbers they're not going to be text but uh, this is not going to be required in here so i could just say that as double would we'll just, just indicate uh, some give some accuracy to that as well but i'm not if i don't do it it's not going to make it wrong so what i want to do is now i'm going to just enter my information so my information is that if okay so we'll just put the if statement if okay if the if salary is i don't know there's no there's no condition on the salary but if number sold is greater than 150 and okay if sales are greater than 125,000 then then there is a there's a calculation for the bonus and what is that the bonus is going to be salary times the um, what 0 0.05 so there's five percent and but also another two thousand dollars okay then I'll say else if okay and else if is going to just say if these two conditions are not satisfied then i can say number sold is if number sold is greater than 150 but not if sales is not greater than 125,000 then 
the bonus is going to be what? The bonus is going to be only salary times 0 0.05. And I'll say else if again, and this time, and this time else if, so it requires the information there. So else if, we're just going to say the number sold. Now, this time is greater than 100, okay? And sales is greater than 125,000. And then the bonus is going to be salary times 0.03 and plus 2,000. And we'll have else if again, a lot of else ifs. And there may be other ways of doing that, but because this the if statements are going to work and, and there are not a lot of different options for us, it's okay to just keep this structure. And else if the number sold is going to be um, greater than 100 and sales is less than 125 then bonus is only salary times 0.03 and else we have there are no other else ifs then else the bonus is equal to zero i'm sorry about those guys okay and then I'm just going to end this as end if, and we are done in the end function. So the if statement comes like that, and end if is going to end if, if statement, but there are some else ifs within the if statement. We are all set with this, then we're going to just now look at the bonus. So the bonus is going to require what? Three inputs, let's just look at them, function, salary, comma, and the number sold, comma, I'm sorry, <laughs> salary, it's, we're just entering here, so that's why there's no comma, salary, and then the number sold, and then the sales, the commas are put here. So if you know how to enter them, you do not need to use the, the FX here, the salary, number sold, and sales, otherwise you'll just type them in and click OK. So this guy, is able to make $2,750. And if you look at the rest, this person did not make any bonus. And the third person made uh, $3,650. So how that worked here is that this person sold more than 150 units and the sales was not larger than 125,000. So that means it is only just adding 5% bonus to the base salary. And uh, if I increase the sales to let's say 110,000 or 135,000 or something like that, and then you're seeing the 4,750 instead of what? 2,750. And Jack did not make any bonus because sold 90 units and $95,000 in sales and none of the conditions met. It's zero dollars and this person made hundred and forty thousand dollars and hundred and ten and with the salary here so three thousand six hundred and fifty so why is that because this person was able to make uh, more than hundred and twenty five thousand dollars and the person was able to get the two thousand dollars and plus and uh, the hundred and ten this is three percent to the base salary so if this sales was like 90,000 or something like that, then this is only going to be 1,650 and not that. So we are able to calculate the bonus amounts using our structure and we have a user defined function called bonus. And uh, you may be able to create your own functions in Excel without any problem. So why do we use this is that in the next uh, video, I'm going to create um, a user-defined function for triangular distributions. And a triangular distribution is needed whenever in a project management project, there is a task and you do not know the, um, the exact duration of a certain activity, then you want to just create some random durations and simulate this. We would need those um, random functions 
you are going to be able to just create your functions without using user-defined functions, but it is going to be like nice, right? So just to have your user-defined functions. So that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.